Mobile City Council may vote tomorrow on a lease agreement on Hank Aaron Stadium. Two groups have ideas for the facility now that the Bay Bears have left town. Well, the council subcommittee held a meeting on the issue today, and News 5's Chad Petrie was there. In one corner, there's the Mobile Entertainment Sports Group, made up of some former Bay Bears staff. I started there when I was 18 years old, and uh, I became the person I am today because of Hank Aaron Stadium. Rosenbaum talked about expanding high school and college sports, as well as live events at the stadium. While their proposal talked about pursuing a minor league team, they wouldn't be required to. On the other side is the co-owner of the Biloxi Shuckers. We want to bring baseball back to Hank Aaron Stadium, and that was our intent and purpose. They want to bring in an Atlantic League team by 2021, but wouldn't take over until then. Both sides offering different proposals, but the one thing everybody in that room seems to agree on is that everyone wants to see that stadium preserved. There is no one in this room that wants Hank Aaron Stadium to be demolished. First of all, it maintains or holds the name of Hank Aaron, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. And he's a native of Mobile, Alabama. So we don't want that namesake to ever go away. A third option, leave the lease as is and continue getting rent from the owner of the Bay Bears. Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5. Now, under the terms of the contract, if the stadium remains unused for sporting events for two years, the landowner could reclaim the property and demolish the stadium at the city's expense.